heads up you guys so I totally took a bath last night and went to bed with my hair wet <laughs> so it was really greasy when I woke up this morning so I just washed it again welcome to my video today welcome to I don't even know what we're gonna call this we're just gonna vlog today so I got up this morning at like six o'clock and I couldn't go back to sleep Jeff got up he had a really late night at work last night, so he had to get up again early and go back to work this morning. And so I just couldn't go back to sleep, so I kind of sat around and waited on Stevie to wake up. I gave her her bottle, and then I went and got on my optical trainer in the basement. Got me a little 20 minutes something in, and then washed a little clothes. And now it's about 10.30, I've already fed everybody breakfast. And then I said, you know what? I'm gonna wash my hair again, because it looked 10 shades of greasy. I don't know. I'll never do that again. I, I never really went to bed with my head wet like that before, but when you have a little baby that won't go to sleep and you're just trying to do what you can to get them to go to sleep, when they go to sleep, you want to keep them asleep. So, no hair dryer. Just trying to be quiet. But, anyway, she's sleeping right here in her swing beside me for right now, and the boys have a couple of friends over there in Hayden's room in the back back there, and I'm just trying to keep everybody quiet. Let's see how that goes. I'm the mom, the stay-at-home mom here in the neighborhood, so everybody ends up at my house. I love it. No, I love the kids, but sometimes it can be a little much. But <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go dry my hair. There's my baby girl. She's a sleepy. She loves to swing. At first, she wasn't sure about it, but now she's good. So now it is like 11.15 and we are headed out. We're sitting in our driveway still right now. But we're headed out. We're going to go and check the P.O. box because I think there's something there. I'm going to go wash my car and then I have to go by the pharmacy and pick up my prescription for my thyroid. Yes, got to love it. So, got the kiddos loaded up here. Hmm. We're ready to rock and roll. You can't ever tell what else we'll get into. <laughs> Alright guys, so we did have a package in our P.O. box. I kind of knew something was there. Um, one of my sweet subscribers had messaged me telling me that something should be in my mailbox for me. So, we're going to open it up and see what is in here. This is from one of my sweet subscribers named Janet. So, thank you Janet. She's from Nebraska. How about that? My goodness. Oh my goodness. How cute. Oh guys, you guys are going to love this. Oh cute. Mommy shopping buddy. Look Harrison, what do you think about that? We got a card. I'm gonna be polite and read the card first. Oh my gosh, look at this card. Oh my goodness, Janet. That is something else. Oh my goodness. Did you make this? Yep. I did make this. Oh gosh. Well, you definitely didn't have to do that. Thank you. It says, Congratulations. Mommy, heaven, heaven. Congratulations on the new edition. Enjoy seeing her in your videos. Have Thank you delicious. for sharing and for sending you a gift card. Pamper yourself. You deserve it. Oh, my gosh. You're such an awesome mom. Jan. Thank you, Jan. Oh, my gosh. I wish I could give you a great big hug. That card is something else. How special is that? Absolutely love it. That is awesome. And there's something else here. Let's see what we got. What is this, Harry? Is that mine? Baby. You guys. Sorry, boys. Daddy says no dating. Oh. That's not all. 
It comes with a little pants. Oh, my. look at the these pants, you guys. He's pink. It's got like a little ruffle He's top. He's pink. Oh, Jan, thank you so much. And a little hair bow. I'm working on how to learning how to tie yep. these properly. And oh, thank cup. you so much. I want to give you a hug. <laughs> that was so sweet and thoughtful. I'm going to get this car started because the baby's starting to get cranky. I love it. Sorry, boys. Daddy says no dating. And brother, too, because um, yesterday one of the little neighborhood kids was um, hanging out and asked um, Hayden, are you going to let your sister date? And he said, uh-uh, no. Hey, sweetheart, you're getting milk everywhere. Let's not do that, okay? I thought that was funny. So this poor girl is going to have three boys standing guard watching her. All right, so Hi. now if I can get Harrison back in his seat. Hey, Sir, I think we're going to head to the car wash next. Get this, get this beast washed up. We are heading to the beach on Sunday. Finally going to the beach. I can't wait. Boys are excited. We're going to stay down at Ocean Lakes again. We love Ocean Lakes. It's where we always try to go because it's just, you don't even have to leave. You just hang out down there, ride the golf cart, play in their um, water park area or on the beach. Find things to do there. There's food. So, excited. Not excited about packing, but I'm excited. <laughs> We're at a stoplight right now, but this baby literally will not go to sleep in her car seat. <laughs> She's just crying. When she gets like this, she'll cry until she's so mad she spits up everywhere. So I'm trying to get somewhere to stop and soothe her a little behind. Why you gotta be so crazy? What's what's up with little girls? I mean, come on, my boy's gonna do this. Girl, chill. It's okay. For a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just want to go my own way, kind of let the past burn down. Cause honestly, don't want to be stuck in more in conversations with you. With you, I'm gone. Car is clean, so now I'll go get lunch for everybody. Jeff Hayden just called me. He's at home, but my dad lives two doors down, so he kind of just hangs around with my dad while I'm gone. He is wanting cookout, and of course, Harrison wants Chick fil A, so we're in Chick fil A drive thru right now. And then we'll ride on down the road to cookout and get Hayden something. I've been wanting a watermelon, watermelon, watermelon milkshake. So I'm going to get me a watermelon milkshake today. I keep forgetting and today is the day. It's going to happen. It's going to happen today, right? So yes. Thank you. Thank you. Got some ice cream for later, okay? There you go. Alright, thank you. There are french fries in there and nuggets. You're just going to have to hold on just a minute because they're probably hot. Hi, yes. Can I get a junior tray with a chicken quesadilla? Um, let me get uh, french fries as both sides and a watermelon milkshake for the drink. Okay. Anything else? Yes, ma'am. Let me get a regular tray with two chicken quesadillas, french fries for both sides, and an M&M milkshake. Anything else? That'll be all. Okay, thank you. Alright, thank you. Watermelon. Thank you, ma'am. Do you need sauce or ketchup? Um, no, we're good. Thank you, Dad. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Let's roll with our food. A bunch of fatties, milkshakes to drink. Ain't no shame in my game. Oh! 
one last stop before we get to the house. We gotta go to the pharmacy. Here we go. Got the goods. Let's go home. It's you guys, we are back home. Sis is clean. She's ready to go to the beach and get all kind of salt on her. What? what? Yes. Hey guys. Boo. <laughs> You have your brother's plate. You got Chick-fil-A. You're smiling. We are back home now and lunch has been served and Stevie has had her bottle and she is just content as she can be. I'm going to try to put her in the swing here behind me and try to get some stuff done in this kitchen because I have not unloaded the dishwasher yet today. I usually do try to do that first thing in the morning um, just so I can start with a fresh somewhere to put my dirty dishes but... I forgot to do that this morning and so I'm gonna try to do that real quick and clean up the kitchen and the kids were running around in here like the neighborhood kids and Hayden were running around in here a few minutes ago I think they went off down into the woods and I'm hoping that they stay outside for just a little while because my house is slowly getting back into that dirty state that I don't like I don't like when it gets like that feet prints all over the floor. One day I'm going to miss it. One day I'm going to miss it. Jennifer, you're going to miss it. Okay, quit complaining. I know, right? <laughs> but anyway, it's rough whenever you clean something and then five minutes later, it's dirty again. It's like, why did I waste my time? But you have to because you don't want to look like, you know, some kind of, you know, animal or something living in the wild. So anyway, all right, we're going to get it cleaning. <laughs> So this is what we are working with guys. We got a messy, messy kitchen. <laughs> and it seems like it's always messy. Like I clean this kitchen at least two or three times a day. And why does it end up like this? Still need to paint that. Any volunteers? I'm a run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. It's not perfect by any means, but it's definitely better than it was. Am I right? When we moved into this house, we redid the kitchen ourselves and we lost like a whole row of cabinets right here and put the bar in. The stove top was here and just a range, a range in a cabinet was here. 
and so we decided just to do the all-in-one stove range situation and take the cabinets that were in here out and Jeff built the wine cabinet thing that we have no wine in we're not really wine drinkers but we thought it looked cool <laughs> So, um, yeah, I probably just need to buy a bunch of cheap wine and throw up in there just so we look like we halfway got it together. But anyway, what I was trying to get at was whenever we redid the kitchen, we lost like four cabinets right here. So I have like nowhere to put stuff. So that's why things end up more or less on my counter, especially over here. I've got spices. I've got all kinds of, you know, spoons and things to cook with and this and that. And I just wish I had more cabinets. But you know what? I'm going to be thankful because I know there's a lot of people who have smaller kitchens than I do, and I'm thankful for what I got. So, I try to look at it that way, but anyway, kitchen's clean for five minutes. It is hot outside. 77 degrees, but it feels like it's 90 or higher. It's hot. In the shade, it feels pretty good, and if there's a breeze, it feels good, but it is hot. I just went for a walk with my neighbor um yeah we try to get out and walk every day between like lunchtime and three or four she worked from home and so she's always um at home well most of the time she's at home and so we try to get out and walk but i'm gonna tell you it's rough because now i'm sweating and i really want to go get a bath and i can't but that's okay i'll get a bath tonight so I'm trying to do better about drinking more water because I've noticed lately I feel like crap for not drinking enough water. So, yeah. Let's close this. Stevie fell asleep in, a, in her, um, in the stroller, car seat stroller. So I put her in my room and I'm watching her on the baby monitor here. Okay, much better. Much better. So, the kids are back and they're playing in Hayden's room right now. And I told them that if they make a peep, I have to send them outside because my body just needs some quiet time. So, I've got jujitsu tonight. I've got to take Hayden here in just a little bit. Um, oh, you know what? I don't think I got, I told you guys about what happened. Um, so, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. Hayden was riding his dirt bike and didn't have his boots on and the bike I guess fell on him and uh burnt his leg and so you know with a boy mom you're usually like you're fine get up walk it off you'll be all right well the next morning when we got up it was like discolored like it was like a black brownish color like around the burn and it was just really yucky looking like it looked really bad there was blisters all over it and so i took him to the doctor and of course i had already been putting the silver cream on it because hashtag boy mom we already had some silver burn cream here and uh so i put that on it and that's what she prescribed for us to put on it well a couple of days go past and she's like call back if it starts you know looking um if it starts having like a mucus or anything like that and so so a couple of days goes by and it starts like i put the bandage on it when i take the bandage off there would be like some weird looking yellow greenish looking like stuff coming off of the wound so i call back like what's going on and uh she has come back in and called in an antibiotic. Well, we started the antibiotic and had to take it for seven days. It's, it's looking so much better now. And she wanted to send us to wound care, but I kind of feel like we really don't need to go to wound care now because it's basically, it's all the redness is gone. It's just got like a little scab over it now. So we'll see, but I really hate that that happened. And you know, it's just one of those things. I'm telling you, it's like if you can keep your little boys from getting hurt, <laughs> you're really doing something because I ain't figured that out yet. So anyway, all right, it's four o'clock and we're just kind of winding down the day, hanging out right now. I really need to go and fold some laundry, but I don't feel like it. But 
any other stay-at-home moms feel like okay so do you feel like you have to like always be doing something like if you're sitting down and you're like relaxing you kind of feel guilty about it that's kind of how I've been feeling lately like if I'm home like I feel like I need to be cleaning something or organizing something or doing something like I feel like I can never have a down moment I always have to be doing something and of course there's always somebody making a mess so. <laughs> but anyway anybody else yeah. I don't know all right I'm gonna go get this laundry oh, yeah. so here is here's his leg I think it looks so much better than it did of course, I don't think I'm really going to show you guys a picture of it before because it was kind of gross, but it's, it's looking much better. Oh, no, right. Okay. <laughs> also, here's Oscar, Hayden's little beta fish, and I noticed a couple of days ago his little fins were looking so bad, and they're like deteriorating. So, apparently he has fin rot, and it's because... I didn't change his tank water like I should have when my little alarm went off and so <laughs> poor little guy now he's got fin rot and it's all my fault I feel so bad but I did buy this stuff off of Amazon's beta fix and I put that in his water so I'm hoping that it helps kind of like an antibiotic for him poor little fella I'm sorry Oscar my bad fish mom or fish grandmom I guess because <laughs> it's Aiden's fish Hopefully we can get him fixed up. We shall see. Hey, Oscar. <laughs> hey, you feed him tonight? I've already fed him. You yeah. don't need to feed him. Remember, that's something Mommy or Hayden does, okay? And he he got his medicine. Yep, he, we gave him his medicine already. And I'm hoping that it's going to help him. And he was sick. He was. He is sick, yep. He's taking medicine. There's that sweet baby. She woke up. We're going to change your diaper, okay? You ready? Yeah. Say hello, Miss Stevie. Go say hello. Go say hi. Somebody's getting sleepy. Are you getting sleepy? Oh, oh sleepy baby. Alrighty, you guys. It has been a busy day, I'm telling you. You guys probably saw just a quarter of all I did today. It's just hard to have the camera follow me around. But anyway, we are going to head out the door. We're going to take Hayden to jiu-jitsu. And then as soon as we get home, we're going to get us a quick bite to eat. And we're going to call it a night. And we're going to hopefully kick back and relax. Maybe watch something on TV. Fingers crossed. Probably won't happen. But <laughs> we can dream, right? But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. We would love to have you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.